all right guys so now we've been able to get our mongodb uri we've set up mongodb get the uri and we've saved it inside the .env file side note i should let you know that every time you make a change to your .env file you need to close your process in your terminal and restart your back end again you know so that it will pick up that change all right so now that we've done we're out that's out of the way let's connect to mongodb for us to connect to mongodb there is a package that makes it super easy for us to connect and that package is called mongoose so i'm going to install it by saying npm that should be in small letter so npm install mongoose like so and hit enter and then it should install all right so mongoose has finished installing and if you want to confirm your installation just go to package.json and you're going to see everything that we've been installing so far so we have three packages so far which is fair i'll close that now how do we connect to mongo um to mongodb using this package we just installed well there are two methods that i currently have in my mind and i'm going to show it to you so you can decide which one you prefer in programming there's something called separation of concerns as much as possible you want to isolate different um, part of your code that performs a specific task it makes your code easier to manage and maintain as it grows bigger so what i'm going to do is my connection to mongoose i'm going to put it inside its own special file or its own special folder sorry so inside of my backend folder i'm going to create another folder i'll call that folder config which like sounds like configuration folder so anything like you know connecting to the database and doing some configuration operation is going to be here inside of this config folder however i'm going to create a file which i'm going to call connect so connect db so db is going to be capital letter dot js and then i'll hit enter inside of this is where i'll now write my code to connect to the database and this is the first method that i want to show you this method is based on the concept of separation of concerns, which is a programming concept that we should all use and we should all know. All right. So first off, you need to bring in mongoose, which is the package we installed. I'm going to say const and mongoose. And that's going to be equal to remember when you're bringing in package in um, this setting here, you're going to say require. And what's the name? Same mongoose. So now we've brought in mongoose we can now use it in our application but before then let's make sure we export this file so to export it i'm just going to say module dot exports and i'll just set it to be equal to what's the name of this file the name of this file is connect db so i'll just use the same name connect db exactly now it's in the middle that i will now you know write my function to connect to the database all right so now let's do that i'll create an asynchronous arrow function and this is just a snippet that i've created to help me make my life a little bit easier all right so i'll call that function connect db like so and that's the function that i'm actually exporting here now let's open that up right here and inside of this function i would introduce a try catch block so i'll say try catch and inside the try block is where I will now execute the connection to MongoDB. All right, so let's do this. I'll say const connect. So let's attach it to a variable name connect. And I'll set it to be equal to await because we are using async here. So, you know, async await. So I'm going to await my mongoose dot connect. Remember, this mongoose is actually pointing to this variable name we created here. So mongoose.connect, and then this is going to take um, an argument, which is going to be the connection URI. So you see this connection URI we brought in here. This is where we're going to make reference to it. So mongoose.connect, and that URI will now come in here. How do we actually reference um a variable inside of our .env file well we're going to say process.env okay so that's process.environment so let's do that pro .env and then dot the name of the variable so in our case it's mongo underscore uri just to be sure i'll just take a look at it again so mongo underscore uri that's correct great so i've basically this is going to help me connect to that URL 
I, I you know added in my dot env file now i'll now come down here and let me just do a console.log so i'll say log something to the console and i'll just add a backticks here and then i'll just say mongo you know what let me just let me just log something to the console i'll say mongo db db connected and then i would add like a variable so i'll use string interpolation here and then i'm just going to say connect you don't have to do this but i just want to do it so connect dots and then connection dot host this will give me access to the connection host all right now let's um come to the catch block so this catch block if there's any error you just want to catch the error well, I just want to simply log that error to the console. So I'll just do console.log and I'll just log the error. Then if there's an error, I want to exit out of the process. So I'll say process.exit. Okay. And just, just add one here. So this will make sure that we exit out of the process if there's an error and the application doesn't move forward. So this is essentially how you can connect to mongodb now it's time for the moment of truth which is where we actually test out this part of our code so first off i'm going to go to my server.js i think i'll just close this env file i'll go to server.js and i'll first need to bring in the connect db function so i'll say const connect db which is equal to don't forget we're going to require it and now we are going to point to the location of that function. So where is it located? I'll open quotes here and I'll just say dot forward slash. And then I'll go inside the config folder and then the connect DB file. So that's it basically. Now for us to execute this function inside of this place where we are here, I'm just going to come down here and just you know come down here and just connect to the database you know what i'll just connect to the database just immediately after i create the app so i'll say connect db and then i'll call it so by calling this function by calling this function it's going to attempt to connect to the database and if the connection is successful one of the ways that we can know is that there will be a console.log so this um mongodb connected and it will give us the connection host all right so that's one of the ways we can know that it has been connected successfully now let's actually come here and run our back end and you know see if everything works fine hopefully there is no typographical error so i'm just going to come here and say npm run back end and then i'll just hit enter right so it's trying to connect aha so we have um, uh, an error somewhere let me just scroll up and see what it is because it will you know tell us what the error is so it says mongoose error the URI parameter to open URL must be a string not undefined okay so make sure the blah 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 to mongoose.connect okay so I think I see where the problem is so the tiny problem we're having here is because in our server.js, we do not give this server.js file the permission to access our .env file. Okay, so I'm actually happy that we ran into this error so that we can see the importance of most things we do. All right, so to give this server.js the permission to access our .env file, in other words, to be able to access this Mongo URI, what we need to do is we need to come up here so i'll just even make it the first line and i'll say const i'll then say dot env so that's going to be the name and that's going to be equal to remember require let's open up uh, our parenthesis and in here i'm just going to specify the name of the package which is dot env now for us to activate or to initiate this process we'll just need to add one more um, string here so it's going to be dot config like so so config and then you're going to call it like a function so this is what we needed to do to make sure that our application has access to our env file now if i go ahead and save this guy 
um i will need to restart my server okay so you see it has already restarted by itself because we connected with mongo um we connected with nodemon so you see here it says server running on port 5000 and then mongodb connected and then it has given us the um this uh, connection string here now i of course i don't want to have this connection string here every time so i'll just come to my connect db here and just get rid of this guy so mongodb connected is just fine with me so if you save that it will restart and then it will see server running on port 5000 and mongodb connected now this way is absolutely fine but there's something wrong here and that is the fact that the server actually starts running first before mongodb is connected so this can actually lead to some kind of problems in the future when you start you know using your application because technically what you want is you want the mongodb to be connected first before the server starts running so connect to mongodb first make sure everything is fine with the mongodb connection and then fire off the server that's technically what you want because if your server start running and there's a request that's made to mongodb immediately then it's going to throw an error i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say but uh let's just you know see how we can modify this connection process in our server.js so in our server.js i'm going to modify the um connection process here so that it connects first before um you know the server now fires up and starts running and i'm going to do that in the next video all right so now let's see how we can flip the process to make our mongodb connection first before we now fire up the server all right so for me to do that in fact let me just remove this string here since we already have it in our um dot env file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a function let me just create the function just at the bottom here i'll call that function um i'll create an asynchronous arrow function so let my shortcut help me and i'll call that function start server because that's exactly what it wants to it's meant to do let's open that up here and then i'll do my try catch block so let's do a try catch block in this try catch block i'm going to connect first so you see this connect db that is here technically what i want to do is i'll cut that and i'll come here and say await connect db so in other words i'm saying that look make sure you connect to the db first before you now connect to the server this app dot listen what was going on here i'll grab it Control x and then i'll just put it here like this tab all right so basically what's going on here is i say before you connect before you fire up the server wait for this connection to the database to be complete that's exactly what i'm saying here so now if it connects to the database and the server fire fires up if there's a request that is made immediately to the server then that there will be no error because we've already connected to the database i hope you follow the logic now in my catch block i'll just do a console.log just to keep things simple of any possible error all right and then let me see if there's any other thing i need to comment out okay so that's about it now i will go ahead and call this start server function so i'll just come down here and say start server like so and then i'll save now let's see how it goes now okay great so now you see we flipped the process let me expand this guy up you see first we connected to mongodb then we now fired up the server so even if the server there's a request that you know runs immediately the server starts you know running there will be no error because why we already have connection to our database all right unlike before that the server will start running first then mongodb will be connected okay i hope you appreciate what we are um, the way we are trying to structure out the application now this is the first way we can connect to our database with the process of separation of concerns we've kept the connection um the connection function we've kept it in a separate file but personally i think it's a little bit cumbersome yes separation of concerns is great so in the next video i'm going to show you the second method with which you can connect to the database and then you can decide which one is easier for you all right see you in the next one then
All right, my friends. So I just want you to know that you have access to the playlist for the main stack tutorial for beginners right here on YouTube. So if you want to watch everything on YouTube, there's a playlist here on YouTube that's going to give you access to them. But I also want you to know that I'm going to be uploading the beginners tutorial one per day. So, But if you don't want to wait for me to finish uploading everything, then you can just click on this main free course and then it's just bring you to this page where you can register for the main tutorials for beginners absolutely free so you're not paying anything it will give you access to this comprehensive course dashboard where you're going to just learn everything you need to know about the beginning uh, part of MERN. all right then also i'm going to be publishing a next js course also for free and you are going to get access to that if you are on the dashboard if you're on this platform also, if you'd like to get access to the 26 plus hours full stack main course, then I'll leave a discount link in the description of every of the main video and you can get access to that for just this tiny discount. All right. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.